As a data and analytics firm, RiskSpan specializes in building and managing quantitative financial models and the platforms that house and govern those models. Our model risk management practice is really just a natural outgrowth of that core competency. When our clients hire us to validate their models, whether it's models they've developed themselves or third-party vendor models, they benefit from this duality of skill sets. We, we have this dedicated model validation team, really a highly talented bunch whose primary function is to validate models for clients. And this dedicated validation team is able to leverage the subject matter expertise of our in-house modelers. This in turn lends considerable value to our model validation engagements. We realize that banks don't typically view model risk management and model validation as a profit center, nor should they really. Certainly, we seek to deliver value in our model validation engagements that goes beyond ticking the regulatory boxes, ideally to the point where we're helping our clients improve their models and in turn use those models, those improved and better models to make more profitable business decisions. But when all is said and done, it's still a cost center. And most banks and financial institutions find themselves kind of straddling the fence between spending enough to ensure they get a defensible, bulletproof model validation report, but not spending more than they have to to get it. So when I put myself in our client's position, I think of this hypothetical XY plot where if you plot your model risk management investment on the x-axis and let the y-axis be the resulting total model risk management cost for each level of investment, the resulting graph is going to look like a parabola. You can invest nothing, you can validate nothing, and quickly learn that that is not optimal as you incur much greater costs associated with having models that don't work and remediating MRAs and all the things associated with not performing model validations. You can also do too much. You can run tests that aren't necessary. You can repeat full scope validations when nothing's really changed. Validators tend to be fairly detail oriented people. They can spend a lot of time poking around areas that ultimately are of marginal value to an overall model validation. RiskSpan's model validation team has a lot of experience helping clients find the sweet spot at the bottom of this cost parabola where we do everything that's necessary to cover all the bases and do it competently without wasting time diving down rabbit holes, doing work that doesn't need to be done. And our unique mix of dedicated model validators teamed up with our in-house modeling subject matter experts really helps us do this cost effectively for our clients.